So I'm gonna start on those, those points on each side. Let's just call it, you know, depending on your lake and your water clarity, you know, Rayburns usually they get 25 foot to 14 foot, 12 foot on these points, just depending on how, you know, each one's a little different. And each one might have a little bit different timber or brush pile on it. But we're just, you know, most of them are in that, call it 15 to 20 foot range is what we're just gonna call it. So I'm gonna pull up on those points and out there that deep, you still might be able to side image them with your hummingbird or, or something like that and find those groups of fish. And then that next level in that we're gonna talk about, you don't wanna do that and I'll, I'll talk about it. So those points, I might idle them, you know, and see if there's some fish on each point or in the drains that you hear about because um, it, it all corresponds together. So I'm gonna start on those points. So say I just graphed 15 or 20 of them, side imaging, saw some fish down there in 14, 15, 20 foot of water, whatever it is. Well, I'm gonna come back and <clears throat> at Rayburn, Fork, Toledo Bend, all this stuff in the south, I'm always gonna start with a big plug, a big crankbait, a 500 DD, a 300 DD, uh, any of the C series, you know, it might be 12 foot, you need a little bit shallower, or it might be 25 foot and you need a 500 DD. But I'm gonna pull up and just throw that big crankbait, dredge it on the bottom, you know, Keith Combs style, just like we do in East Texas power fishing, that's usually how you're gonna catch the biggest fish out of that school, most of the time. Now, do you have to do that, or do they eat it every time? No, but usually I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna fire that crankbait across the point on this side, I'm gonna fire it across the point on that side of that drain, then I'm gonna go straight down that drain with it. Whatever, you know, whatever, I might switch a couple crankbaits just depending on depth, and I'm gonna just attack those drains like that. <clears throat> so say you pull up and you catch a big one off the right side of of the drain on a crankbait or catch one or two or or they're there and you can see them on on mega live or something and they're not biting <clears throat> well that's when i'll pick up like a carolina rig football head jig something like that and you know drag it across that across that point work each point but here's what you need to to understand these fish are going to relate to those points on each side somewhat but then sometimes they're literally right in the middle of the drain. You hear about people fishing drains, fishing drains, fishing drains. What does that mean? You know, and it's, it's that drain that starts right there and we'll call it 25 foot of water and it runs all the way to the back somewhere and it gets two foot of water, it runs to the bank eventually. So you really need to key in on those drains. Like I said, you, I like the first ends of those points on each side and then I'm gonna get in that drain and, and, and just work my way down it. I might crank it. You know, you might, when you're graphing, you might see a brush pile, like at Raven, most of those drains have four or five brush piles in them. And they might not be in the brush piles, they might just be around them. So you might just start working that drain with that big crankbait and you start catching them. I mean, I keep going back to Raven because it's what everybody hears about. All our big tournaments are there in the pre-spawn. You know, there's a Toyota just uh, went down yesterday. Dakota caught a 32 pound bag, I think came back and won it. Uh, those guys are fishing drains, that's what they're doing. You know, it's historic there in Toledo and Fork and everywhere around here. So you just wanna <clears throat> pull up on those points, fish each point with whatever bait, you know, like I said, crank them, crank them, jig, Carolina rig, you know, if you wanna throw a drop shot and be like that, you can do that. But, uh, well, you know, I'm talking about trying to catch the biggest caliber of fish in the lake. I'm not, people catch 30 pounds at Raven on drop shots all the time. They, they do, uh, they just don't talk about it. So, <laughs> Uh, attacking that drain, you know. <clears throat> so that's kind of my, it's, this is gonna be very simple, guys. The points going in the drains, the start of the drain until it gets into that, I said that weird depth range. You're gonna get up there in about 14 foot of water and stuff's gonna change. The bottom contour is gonna change or the bottom composition is gonna change a little bit. You might start getting grass if you have deep hydrilla. You might start running to real shallow brush piles. It's just harder to throw a big crankbait and drag a football head jig. I'm not saying you couldn't catch them on a little bit shallower crankbait or, or a jig, but that's when I start kind of looking for fish floating in that little, we'll call it eight to 14 foot of water. That's when fish kind of float in this section. They're uh, you know, not really committed to the points where they get on the bottom and eat, and they're not committed to the back of the drain where there's usually hydrilla or, or something, a shell bed or something to hold them in the back. They're kind of just floating around the middle of that drain using each side you know, this is the part of the drain that's kind of just wide, not real narrow. And that's when I'm gonna pick up a jerk bait and an Alabama rig if you can fish it. Uh, fun fishing, obviously I'm gonna have an A-rig tied on and, and a jerk bait, maybe a single swim bait. 
any of those three are what you're going to catch those floating fish on. You know, these live scope specialists like John right here, you know, they're really good at catching those fish that are just kind of free floating. And you can catch the same fish free floating out on the ends of those points too, if you see them. But a lot of times on those points, there's going to be a really, really hard spot on each point just from the way the natural movement of water occurred and made those points, you know, over, over the years.